Hi, fr hi friends, well, uh, the next set of presentations will be all about trust analysis. Now let us first understand what we mean by trust. Well, the definition of trust, I would say, has three components to it. Number one, a trust is some sort of a structure which are built of actual members. So number one, actual members. Number two, loads are applied on these trust structures at points called nodes wherein two members meet. So loads applied at nodes. And number three, these actual members are somewhat pin connected, right? That is, they cannot restrain any moment that falls on it. So number three, pin connection. So what is a truss? A truss is some kind of a structure which carries load and essentially it has certain kind of actual members and these actual members are pin connected and loads are applied at the juncture of the connection of these actual members which are basically nothing but the nodes. So this is effectively what we mean by a truss. Now, if we try to see these three things in further detail, it's like this that, for example, I have a member like this, right? And there is a, another member says this, and there is another member says this. And this member is connected to this member by this node A, which is pinned at A, and this by node B, that is pinning at 2. Now, if we isolate this and draw it as a FBD, if we rub out this two member, and let us assume that we apply certain kind of an external load at this node 2, say it's F1, and at this node 1, we apply another external load, that is F2. Now, this F1 and F2 can be broken or down into components, say this is equal to F1V, and this is equal to, say, F1H. Similarly, this can also be broken down, and namely F2V and F2H. Right. So here, if this is my actual member, then at node 2, I have this force F1V acting downwards, F1H acting horizontally. At node 1, I have F2V acting downwards, and F2H acting horizontally. Right. So it's like this, wherein at node 2 I have F1V and F1H and at node 1 I have F2H and say F2V. Now this is a point wherein there is no restraining moment because of it's the, because this is pin. So if we take moment about this point A, say summation of moment about A and if this is in equilibrium then what we have essentially is F1H, F2H will not have any moment because it passes through the nodes so it will be essentially F2V right now MA, summation of MA must be equal to 0 as it is in equilibrium so essentially from here F2 is equal to 0 or F2V is equal to 0 which means that F1V must be equal to 0 so essentially, in this member, there can be two forces, F1H and F2H. And this is why, if we assume that the loads are applied at the nodes, and at the nodes, the two members are pin connected, we can say that the members will have actual forces acting on them. That is, the members will be actual. Now, the next concept I will try to take a look at is yeah I want to take uh, now this this loads are applied at the nodes and what we do is that in practical circumstances we build the arrangement in such a manner that effectively the loads will be applied on the nodes and this we will see in the next lecture the I should say the practical the practical uh, illustration of a truss. Uh, the next thing that I will try to take a look in this lecture is what do you mean by determinacy and stability and indeterminacy and stability. Let us try to take a look at that. Now, 